as a government leader, I can say with confidence that this will be a game changer for TV broadcasting in Tanzania. And we don't expect anything less uh, from Baresa. We've always been inspired by the business acumen, the boldness, the ambition, the innovation. And this really signifies precisely the philosophy of the family and the group. So uh, we are not surprised, but we are grateful nevertheless. So uh, after the presentation, really, there's nothing much to say. Um, but I want to say a few things. We all know that TV in the mainland, Tanzania, is less than 20 years old. You know. The first television here in the mainland was 1994. In Zanzibar, obviously, it was much earlier, in 1974. But if you look at the changes that have taken place over the past 19 years, phenomenal. And those changes did not happen by accident. It's because, as government, we created certain policies that made it possible for TV broadcasting to happen. And my promise today is that we'll continue on that, we'll continue on that path so that we can have more competition, more content, more variety, and obviously uh, jobs and so forth. So that's number one. Government's commitment to continue to set policies that allows, that facilitates for TV broadcasting to be there. Number two. A lot has been said about content here. Yeah. From uh, the CEO's presentation, if you count the number of times that the word content came up, more than 100 times. And true, in TV broadcasting or in any type of broadcasting, content is king. All the rest, the towers, the decoders, the uh, dishes, you know, these are just means. But content is what we buy. Content is what we watch. Content is what makes a difference. And I'm very inspired, extremely inspired, and very happy to hear that content, local content, is at the forefront of the philosophy of Azam Media Group. And this is very good. Thank you very much. And I know, I know that uh, the studios that are built in Tabata, from what we hear, this will be probably some of the first studios, production studios, apart from South Africa. But I think I can say with confidence that they'll be the first studios in Tanzania, but I suspect in most of Africa. And... For some of us, some of you who don't understand what studio does in terms of creativity, in terms of uh, uh, bringing forth that content, in terms of job creation, uh, it will be amazing. And we, we expect to be entertained by Azam TV, to be educated, and to be inspired to be better citizens. Yohani Karibuni, Ongreni, so... I was told that I should say, and I want to say, that Azam TV is now officially launched.